Hey everybody, Joel Norton here, and today I am reviewing Anti Flag's newest album, Lies They Tell Our Children. So I am rather new to Anti Flag. Uh, just got into them in the last couple of years, though. There's been a few songs here and there that I grew up listening to um, off of like Madden soundtracks and whatnot. I first got a chance to see them in 2021. I think it was 2021 at Riot Fest and they destroyed that place. It was awesome. Great vibe to the concert. And uh, I've explored some more of their content since then. And like a lot of their more recent stuff, this album is definitely more in the alternative rock area. It depends on what anti-flag you enjoy. Um, It's definitely not anything like their older stuff that's a little bit more in that punk range. Like I said, this is more like their last album, which is a little more alternative rock with a little bit of punk sentiment. So um, the album starts off with Sold Everything, which is a nice, lyrically hard-hitting short song, but it is kind of soft, like a soft intro to the album, which was pretty cool. What I really liked about this album in general, I I should jump in and say, I really liked how they brought different people in from uh, different bands and uh, did a lot of features on this album, which was pretty awesome. They did uh, Modern Meta Medicine, which is the next one that's track number two. Um, They had Jesse Leach from Killswitch come on, and that's that's a good tune. And then one Shane told of my favorite band, Silverstein, jumped in for Laugh, Cry, Smile, and Die, which is the third track on the album. And probably one of the top five songs off this album, I'd say. Track number four, Fight of Our Lives, which is, in my opinion, the best one on that on the album. And it features him from uh, Rise Against and Brian Baker of Bad Religion. Um, so that, in my opinion, is up there, top tier, easily top five. But I, 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 I'd say that's the best one. Um, there were a few on here that I, I definitely, that were just kind of average feeling imperialism with Ashrita Kumar of pink shift. That was a good one. Uh, I definitely enjoyed that. Uh, imperialism's great. Uh, victory or death. We gave him hell with uh, Campino. I did not enjoy this song until I saw them live again here in February. I believe that was. And they opened up for Floggy Molly, um, which was another fantastic show. So it's twice I've seen them, and they killed it. But uh, they played Victory or Death there, and that grew on me just from seeing them play it live. So that was pretty great. Um, I also really enjoyed The Hazardous and Work and Struggle. I'd say the album in general, it has uh, some songs are simpler than others, but lyrically, it's pretty sound. I think that's where it shines, in my opinion. But um, there's definitely some really good, like, just, you know, alternative rock anthems on here. Um, has a really good message behind the music as well, so they, they get perks for that. The artwork. I don't know how I feel about the artwork. I There's a lot of stuff going on in there. It's not exactly visually appealing. So with artwork-wise, I'd probably go with a 4.5 out of 10. Nothing spectacular there. Um, I do like the name of the, ty- the uh, album, though, Lies They Tell Our Children. In total, the songs that made it to my playlist are Laugh, Cry, Smile, Die, Shane Told, uh, Modern Medicine, Modern Meta Medicine with Jesse Leach, um, Imperialism with Ash- Ashrita Kumar, and Victory or Death, The Hazardous, and Work and Struggle. Those those are my, my favorites off this album. I didn't really dig Shallow Graves and... Uh, as much as I was hoping I would enjoy it, never ever with Stacey D of Bad Cop, Bad Cop, because I really do enjoy Bad Cop, Bad Cop. Um, but, but that one ended up just being okay. So yeah, I, I think there's the production was really good for this album. And uh, like I said, lyrically, it was really, really good. But the lot, some of the songs just kind of were meh. And, but I, I really don't find any bad. Like none of them were really awful. Like I said, it's all going to be per your taste, but um, I think if you enjoyed their alternative rock stuff, like, you know, post-2010, 
uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that, you, you're going to enjoy this. Um, but, you know, predate that, and I, I'd say you probably wouldn't enjoy it as much. But my rating for as a total for this album is going to sit uh, probably somewhere in like a 6.8 range. Like I said, there's some really good tunes on here that I really enjoyed, but there's also a lot of just kind of average tunes that were that were okay. Um, and I, yeah, there were some, I definitely a lot of, I was looking for a little more lyrical depth than some of them where it just kind of came off as them like kind of sing-alongs. So there's that there was like, Oh man, this is really good lyrically. And then they repeat it a couple times and you're like, okay, I wanted a little bit more depth to these, but all in all, like I said, I, I think this is a solid, uh, solid outing by anti-flag. Definitely listenable for sure. Um, but yeah, that, that, uh, that's my rating guys. 6.8 out of 10. I'm Joel Norton. If you enjoyed my review of this album, do me a favor, hit that like button. And until next time, guys, peace out.